Yeah. Play in the phone? No? No, 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 it's cool. All right. Save that. Save that magical, magical moment. We have a magical moment <laughs> coming up. Um, what is your friend's name? Katie. Together Katie. we are a... Uh, I'll let you. I, I'll let you do that together today, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Alice Blair and her good friend Katie. Hey guys, those, those are some uh, some swanky looking folding chairs there. Can we get two of those? Two two folding chairs, please. All right, all right. So um, this is this is new for you guys, not for us, but new for you. Um, this is my bandmate and best friend, Katie. Together we are Die Sally May Die. <laughs> I set my wine down, but not the chair. Hold on. Can you guys hear me okay from here? Yeah. Is it right? A little closer. A little closer. A little closer. Closer to your mouth. A little yeah. closer. Is this better? Yes. Is this yes. better? Okay. Let's, we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna do a little warm up that's make, gonna make everybody hate me. Whisper in my ear. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, we're gonna start out with a cover that we do. We did not write this, believe it or not. Yeah, we're you guys so can hear the guitars, okay? Okay, you ready? <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> this is stupid. I've been drinking wine and I'm so excited. You guys should be too. Woo! <laughs> Okay, so do we have any ludicrous fans out there? Good, okay. <laughs> A bunch of lights out. Get the fuck back and guard your grill. There's something wrong, but we can't stay still. I've been drinking too, and I've been thinking of busting you upside your motherfucking forehead. If your friends jump in, oh girl, you're gonna get more dead. Causing confusion, disturbing the peace. It's not an illusion. We're running the streets. So bye bye to all your groupies and gold diggers. Is that a bumper on your ass? No, I didn't think so. Move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. I said move, bitch, get out the way. Get out the way, bitch, get out the way. Watch out, watch out, watch out, Here I come, here I go, don't jump, bitch, move. You see those headlights, you hear that fucking crowd. I fuck the crowd up, that's what I do. Young and successful, a sexy 
guys very much for that. Give it up for Katie. That's, that's cat dog. That's cat dog for those of you who don't know her. <laughs> so this is what happens when I go up late, is I drink wine and then it's hilarious for me and unfortunate for you. Uh, so anyways, let's talk about low points. Uh, <laughs> so um, earlier today I was at work on my lunch break um, eating rotisserie chicken out of a bag with my bare hands. And it was not because I was happy about where I am in life. Uh, I'm moving, which is great. Like, I'm having to, I'm trying to downsize as well when I'm going to the new place, so I'm like having to make decisions like, should I keep this fake spider? Or should I keep this fake spider? Because both of them end in hilarity. <laughs> I love my job. <laughs> That's what I do, like, half the time. I'm like, I, I definitely, there was one point where I put a fake spider on a piece of scotch tape, put it under a paper, put my hand on the other side of the scotch tape, and started moving it along while having a conversation with a coworker. <laughs> because I get bored easily. That's not on my list, by the way. I just remembered it and wanted to share it with you. No, I, um, I had a really low point the other night. The guy that uh, I'd been crushing on was over at my house. Uh, we're snuggled up on the couch and the TV show ends and there's a moment of silence and he says out loud, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> um, because apparently hanging out with Miss Allison at 1 a.m. on a Wednesday is success. Uh, no. Oh my god, so I had, uh, I just dealt with that whole winter weight shit. Anybody else? Fuck like that. <laughs> no, I'm really, really proud of myself. I'm super fucking proud. I just dropped five pounds in the past week. Thanks. Um, which is why I'm wearing this. <laughs> no, like, I just, over the winter, I saw myself gaining weight. I saw myself getting bigger and bigger and just not doing anything about it. And finally I was like, okay, you know what? Take that initiative. And I got off my ass and I got that abortion. <laughs> you feel bad for laughing, but it's okay. Cause you know, no one's knocked this up already. <laughs> uh, no, but I, I did lose some weight recently. I'm really excited. I'm back on the ketogenic diet. Is anybody familiar with this? Yes. Yes? Rock on! Cool, cool. So I'm back on ketogenic, and people, uh, people ask me, like, so why are you doing keto? You can't eat anything. You can't have fun. Why are you doing this to yourself? And I'm too embarrassed to tell them the real reason. You know, so I tell them, like, it's for health. It's to get my energy levels back up. I just really, really want a sexy stormtrooper costume. <laughs> like, a month ago, I was like, I guess I could do sexy job of the hood. <laughs> Someone's so sexy. I was like, maybe, maybe Greedo? Maybe a sexy Greedo? Anyway, sorry, I'm gonna stop <laughs> ruining Star Wars for everybody. <laughs> now, you know you're on an effective diet when every meal you have has the aftertaste of pennies? <laughs> it might be blood. I don't know anymore. <laughs> I, I, made a, I made a dinner the other night, which was like, uh, it was like chili and Taco Bell had a defiant child uh, who's just like, I'm not gonna be anything like my parents. So they like laid themselves on a bed of lettuce and I'm just like, yeah, I mean, you can't hide what's inside. <laughs> and in this case, what's inside is a spicy, greasy pile of shit and I love it so much. I love being terrible to myself. Oh God, I had an all about that bass joke, but I cut it because it was stupid. <laughs> no, so um, for those of you who don't know, keto or keto, I say keto because it sounds like a martial art. I'm on keto. Uh, it's like, no, Allison, you're just dumb and don't know how to pronounce words. Uh, <laughs> um, I forgot where I was going with that. Oh, so there's this adjustment period where it's like training your body to burn fat instead of complex carbohydrates. Uh, essentially what happens is you get the flu for three days. And so my body's sitting there like, oh, what are you doing to me? And I'm like, I'm trying to get you laid. In a way that does not make your sexual partner have an existential crisis. 
God, I can't get over that, I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm a female in my mid-twenties, um, which is nice, because now I know like every year from here on out will just get a little bit worse. <laughs> like, ladies, do you, guys, do you guys ever have that moment where it's like you wake up, you make your coffee, bacon's on the, on the fucking grill thing, you feed your cats, you yell at your cat for jumping in the fridge, you go to take a shit and check your Facebook at the same time and realize you're gonna die alone. <laughs> That's every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. The other days I eat eggs instead of bacon. <laughs> no, oh my fucking God. Uh, oh, quick question while I'm, while I'm talking to the ladies. Um, have any of you guys, like, ever had to, like, figure out the best way to tell your man it would be nice if you got off on occasion? I figured the best way it would be uh, in a room full of strangers on stage. <laughs> Just kidding, he's not here, because he doesn't care about me. <laughs> Facebook? Like, fuck Facebook, am I right? Like, it's always like, you want to know which friends are getting married and not inviting you to their wedding? <laughs> yes, they, Facebook, thank you very much. I'll send them a passive-aggressive card. <laughs> fuck you. No, like, all my friends are fucking getting married, and I'm not invited to the wedding, which blows my mind. I'm just, like, sitting there like, okay, rub it in my face that you're happy. You know, like, go ahead and say it, like, look, we have life figured out together. But at least, like, if you're gonna do that, at least compensate by inviting me to your open bar. <laughs> because this shit face is exactly what makes your special day all that more special. <laughs> no, seriously, seriously. Uh, at your wedding, put me at an open bar. It will be a day no one will remember. Forget, forget, forget. <laughs> <laughs> My name is Alice, and I can word good. <laughs> now, I'm at the point where like, they're all having kids, and I'm like, I just, I shouldn't have kids now. Um, because I know uh, they would just end up with all of the uh, negative attributes of me. So they'd be like these anxious, needy, self-loathing mini-me's. And uh, they'd also get all the negative attributes of my... Uh, of my future partner. So probably like extreme alcoholism and terrible taste in women. <laughs> okay. Um, I did start seeing someone recently though, um, which is exciting. Uh, there's nothing official, but it's like, you know, we fuck once a week, so you know, who cares? It's good enough. Uh, but no, when you're in a new relationship, there's nothing more difficult than trying to find good porn on the internet. At least when you're a lady, because you're sitting there like, all I really want is like more attractive me getting boned by more attractive him. <laughs> it's like, I know the internet is infinite. I'm sure that's out there somewhere, but I'm just too lazy to find it. Um, so I've been playing a lot of The Sims 3. <laughs> okay. Um, so let's bring Katie back on stage on that terrible note. <laughs> All right, this is a song we wrote just for you guys. It's a song about finding love in all the places you wouldn't expect it. We call it Tina. Oh, goodness gracious. I just wanted a sip of wine, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Aren't you glad I coughed in my hands and not on the mic? Yeah. <laughs> Just point that out. Oh goodness. Okay, Katie, you ready to play this new song we wrote? All right. Are we in tune? I don't know. We did a like little capo scoot up thing. I talk in this accent normally, just so you know. <laughs> okay. This is our first time playing this in public. So. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah. 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 He's like, Addison, yeah. two drugs. Yay, yeah, Winston! I just. Okay, anyways. Anyways, here's a song.
Katie. You've got to start over, Katie. That's <laughs> right, I remembered what else was next, and I was like, this is fucking, what am I doing? Okay. Okay. Sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, everybody in the room. Okay. One, two, three, four. Tuesday comes and Tuesday goes. Running down the street after my show. Had to stop, I stubbed my toe. Uh oh. Starts to hurt, it starts to bleed. Is this the kind of love we bleed? But it's okay when you're next to me, Mr. EMT. I was down on the floor, but you picked me up again. So my life. When do people live forever? Where do they begin? You said, fam, I think you're concussed. I said, I love you. <laughs> Trigonometry. So I burned down the school so we wouldn't have class. And I saw your pretty face staring right back. Hey, Mr. Firefighter, are we moving too fast? Fast like your truck, but firm like your ass. Music at Vaughn in Charlottesville tomorrow night at a time that I don't know yet. <laughs> that was incredible. Is this your. I feel like I missed the joke. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't forget that note that says to pick up D batteries on the way home. Ah. <laughs> it's probably pretty important. Uh, I guess in case the power goes out, you need a flashlight or something like that. Okay. I was really into that. I, was, I had a moment where I was like, oh shit, I have to go back up there. I'm supposed to be part of this. Speaking of a part of this, we have a uh, guest in the audience was tonight that performed here once before at our very first show that we ever did right here at the hotspot. He's not going to perform tonight, but we're going to perform for him because it's his birthday. Oh, shit. And we're going to sing happy birthday to our good friend Jordan. <laughs> but we can't sing the real happy birthday song because I can't afford it. <laughs> So... Yeah. Oh, yeah! Thank you, Trevor. Are you guys ready for a next comedian? Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Love her just screaming out anything that sounds like yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's one more than I know. It's one more. It's oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all good, bro. I'm just fucking with you, man. It's all yeah. fun. It's all fun. I promise you. So, come to the stage next. Give it up for Alice Blair. They're gonna need two chairs and a mic stand. Um, let's see, Trevor. No, I'm kidding. I got it. <laughs> okay. 
Much less. Give it up for Katie Stewart also. Mike so long.
I tried writing a Charlottesville joke. I really did. All I like, all I got was downtown Charlottesville. The squirrels are too friendly, and the people want to kill you. Uh, I was like, I could do something with that, but that's 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 all I wrote. I'm really excited though. I recently lost five pounds. Uh, five pounds in the past week. Uh, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, with the winter happening, I just. I started getting weight, I was sitting there not doing anything about it, I saw myself getting bigger and bigger, and I finally got off my ass, and I took the initiative, and I got that abortion. And that's the joke that makes me get beat up after the show by Christian non-pacifists. chicken out of a bag with my bare hands and it was not because I was happy about where I was with my life. I recently moved, uh, which is always fun. I had to make important decisions while downsizing like, do I really need this fake spider or do I really need this fake spider? <laughs> when you're an adult, you should only have one toy arachnid. That's a true story. Nobody else understands. Doesn't matter. No, I have, um, this, this was a fun low point. The other night I was uh, snuggled up with a guy I was seeing on the couch, and the TV show we were watching ends, and there's a moment of silence, and I look up at him and he says, what am I doing with my life? <laughs> that was really cool. It's like hanging out with Allison on 1 a.m. No, no, not at all. He hasn't talked to me in three days. Anyways, I'm a female in my mid-twenties, which is great, because it means every year from here on out is going to get a little bit worse. Any, anybody else here ever have that moment where they wake up in the morning, they make their coffee, they feed their cats, they yell at their cat for getting in the fridge, they go to take a shit while they check their Facebook, and they realize they're going to die alone? I have so many friends having babies or getting married, and I'm like, okay, you're you're like 23 and you're getting married, big deal, okay? You know, you're gonna make me feel insecure about my place in life and like, oh, I'm gonna be forever alone, her I mean, for fuck's sake, at least invite me to your open bar. Like they're not inviting me to their damn weddings, and I will say, a shit faced this is what makes your special day all that more special. <laughs> On that note, my family's here tonight. <laughs> when my dad went over here, when my dad found out I was doing comedy, uh, I said, no, please don't look it up. <laughs> and somebody didn't listen to me. I think his feedback was, yeah, you have an all right delivery. You have time to work on your content. So thanks. Also, uh, can we all get a big happy birthday for my little sister? She's still fucking underage, you sick fucks. If anybody touches my sister, they're gonna get a fucking knuckle sandwich delivered straight to their doorstep. Just saying. I'm just gonna threaten people now. That's the rest of my set. No. Anyways. I have a lot of friends having kids and getting married, and I've gotten to the point where I'm like, I, I just shouldn't have kids. Because God knows, they're going to get all of my negative attributes. They're just going to be like these needy, anxious little mini-me's running around, just hating themselves. And they're also going to get all of the negative attributes of whoever I end up spawning with. So, you know, probably raging alcoholism and a terrible taste in women. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, I was recently uh, in Virginia Beach visiting a friend. Uh, anybody else? 757? Anyone? No. Nobody? Good. You guys all make better life decisions than I do. No, and my friend.
brings me to our favorite hangout place. And um, have you guys ever walked into a new bar and you, that magic rushes over you and you're like, oh my god, I don't know where, I don't know how, but I'm gonna die here. <laughs> maybe not this week, maybe not this month, but this is where I'm going to be murdered. <laughs> That's why I moved away from Virginia Beach. <laughs> No, I don't want our next. So, um, no, I think the reason I'm just like in this like forever alone stagnation is because my phone is the worst wingman ever. You know, I tried that Tinder thing recently, and uh, you know, it'd be like, you have a match, and I'd be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, let's get my game on, send them a message, something like, hey, how was your day? And my phone goes, that's great, Allison. That's fantastic. Let's make this sexier. Let's send them to it 14 more times. <laughs> it also likes to FaceTime when I'm not trying to FaceTime. It's like, you're trying to schedule your birth control appointment with your doctor? Let's FaceTime the people fucking have FaceTime. It's an office phone. I don't, I just end up like, they pick up the phone, they're like, hello? And I'm like, huh? Right. And then I call and go, hi, I need birth control. Seems fucking stupid. Speaking of stupid, what is the difference? Uh, where is that fine line between gas reimbursal for a booty call and prostitution? I'm guessing like $50? $50? Right. Um, so I work over at the SPCA. Um, yeah, thank you! Because I like cats better than people, which may or may not mean I'm gonna die in a pit alone. But I recently fostered a puppy for the SPCA, and it was about like 12 hours in that I realized this is really, really similar to my last like actual relationship with a man. Like you sit there and you're just like, you're so cute and I love you so much, and they just shit all over everything you care about. You know, I spent so much time and money into feeding them, cleaning up after them, keeping them happy. At the end of the day, all they wanted was balls in their face. Oh, uh, that's a stupid joke because that's what I do. I had a friend recently who came out of the closet to his father, um, which is fucking difficult. Like, I commend him greatly. It takes a lot of guts, and I know because I came out of the closet to my mother when I was in high school. And uh, she said, Allison, what are you doing in there? And I said, I don't like it when you and dad fight. <laughs> <laughs> so I have this strategy now when I go out drinking. I don't know if any of you guys have heard this old wives tale. It's if you drink or eat something dairy related before you start drinking, it will prevent, it coats your stomach, prevents a hangover in the morning. It's pretty cool, right? So I've taken this strategy and I've tweaked it a little bit. So once I'm already out drinking, I start eating or drinking some sort of dairy product, which causes me to start vomiting like the exorcist. And then my friends call a cab for me. Boom, I have saved $11 on a cab and I don't hang out with people anymore. <laughs> Immediate social evacuate button, boom. No, like my get out of jail card, like 90% of the time is always act more drunk than you are. The other 10% of the time, the cops have shown up and you want to do the exact opposite. Yeah. All right, I'm going to bring Katie back on stage. We've got one more song for you guys and then we're going to call it a night.